Hi, and welcome to my OLAT account. On this Hardcore Iron Man, I must train all stats one level at a time. The first big goal is, as with every account that I make, to get max available quest points. This is my journey to Questcape. Let's start off with another quest completion. And the reason why I'm completing this quest is because I get 5000 Slayer experience. Because in this skilling round, I will also be getting a lot of combat experience. So that's another 5k XP down, let's go to the next one. One small favor quest completed, that is then 238 quest points. I have waited a quite a long time before completing this quest as I have been saving it up for whenever I would get into trouble in either Herblo or Slaya. But the higher my stats get, the easier it gets to train them equally. So at the moment I don't see any benefit in holding off this quest simply for some backup XP. So why did I decide to complete this quest at the base 67 you ask? That is simply because in this killing round I will be spending a chunk of my combat experience on combat XP rewards. Similar to the huge combat experience reward that you get from Monkey Madness, so this means I will need to find another way how to get Slayer XP and XP lamps are always very helpful since I really don't like doing temple tracking. And that was also the reason why I've just completed a Tales of Two Cats quest, as that quest was also saved up just for backup XP. And also one small favor was a quest prerequisite for two quests, where one of which I want to complete maybe right now. Yeah, sure, why not? And the quest I was talking about was obviously King Ransom. No defense level, but if I use this on Slayer, there we go, 5000 Slayer experience. And since I don't need to train any more Slayer, I can use my combat stats in any way I want to. And as you can see from Aventry, yeah, let's get that chivalry unlocked. Hey, there we go, and that is 20,000 in attack, strength, defense, and hit points. So in terms of HP equalization, this doesn't really matter at all. Now I'm not done yet. I have unlocked Chivalry, very nice. Now I have two more quests remaining that I want to complete. Oh boy, this quest. I am so glad that this is over. I've also used this account to make my quest guide. This is six pages long, wow. But honestly, there isn't really too much to change from my 2016 quest guide. Just that one change that they have made to the lanterns, but besides from that, Luna, Diplomacy, done. Obviously, no levels. Currently, at this low magic level, the Lunar spellbook isn't really too helpful for me. But I've only unlocked like half of it, so let's immediately unlock the second half. And we are done here. Yes, this is one quest down that gives hit point experience. There's, I think there's only one more to go. But since I don't like the underground pass and I also don't really want to get elf slayer tasks, I'm not really planning on doing morning's end part one. Yeah, there we go, 69 hit points, account ruined. This will also be the last quest that I wanted to complete during this skilling round. All right. This lamp talks a lot. So now I also have a 15,000 XP lamp that I can put in any combat skill excluding prayer and attack. Magic and range would be kind of dumb because I'm not getting any hit point experience from them. Hit points would be re completely retarded. So I guess defense because that will give me a level. That's also slightly slower to train. 68 defense, less hit point experience gained from this one. Right, done with all the quests, let's get out of here and let's get base 68. Nothing too special, I need to get 400 pest control points once again. I can mine 4 volcanic ashes from base 67, but I've already done that, I have like 3000 now. Yeah, everything else is completely the same as the former skilling round. Oh my god, it exists! Fuck. I've added to the ground items. <gasps> Dude, pick it up, you fucking idiot! I've currently the loot track table open, 
and after like 200, 300, I think I've killed like over 200, maybe even 300 just for this Black Defender. Hopefully the other ones will come soon, probably not, but let's hope so. Oh my god, I'm so happy that the dry streak is over. I've been here from 64 defense all the way to 68. Yeah, not so lucky. Those were another 650 tokens down and only one defender. So that is 68 in all the combat stats. Now I'm kind of thinking on what to do with my range XP. In the next killing round I'm gonna be getting a lot of Slayer experience so I don't really want to get extra Slayer experience currently else I might get to like level 70 and that might ruin the series. So I will need to find something else that I can cannon which will progress my account and is not a Slayer task. My first idea were Cave Horrors because I still need the Black Mask for my Slayer training and looking at the drop table, it's also pretty good. All of their herb seeds are always very helpful, as well as their clue scrolls. Because I still need the black dehyde chaps for once I reach base 70. So cave horrors have like three things good for me. But I was also thinking about doing gangsters for Shazian favor. Well, not really for Shazian favor, but just because they drop intelligence, which I can turn in for some combat experience. So I will need to kill less gangsters in the next skilling round, which I will have to do a lot. Also, they drop planks, which is good for the cash stack, as well as my woodcutting experience. Since crafting and magic got quite profitable, I will not need to spend all of my agility experience at the agility pyramid, just trying to come by. So from now on I will start doing some barbarian fishing in between some karambuan fishing. Barbarian fishing will also help me a tiny bit in saving some HP XP over time. So that was 67 to 68 fishing and that got me 48 26 strength experience. So if I divide this by 3 I've just saved up 16 14 HP XP by just coming here for one fishing level. And that is some less HP XP that we'll need to equalize in the next skilling round. A quick update, I'm currently training my ranged at the Cave Horrors. Not really sure how much XP I got, let's quickly check. The XP is done 12 and a half thousand XP. I got just about 100 kills and that got me one hard clue scroll. And for some strange odd reason, I was able to do it. There were no wilderness steps, no heraldic shields, no... No, there was pretty easy. So the only thing I want is either alcohols or the black dehyde chaps. So let's see. There we go. Mmm, yummy. Ask and you shall receive. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. There we go. Black mask at finally. Yes. Took me. Let me quickly move this. I have gotten 320 kills. In total I got oh, three clue scrolls, I missed one. Completed one, which was this. Second one, couldn't complete it. And the third one, yeah, I, I missed that one. Loot isn't really that great, but I'm still under the drop rate, which is awesome. The drop rate for the Black Mask is 1 in 512, killed exactly 320. So now I can spend the remaining range XP, which isn't too much, about 20,000 XP. So I will be spending that on killing gangsters. Yeah, no real reason why not to unlock it. I have currently 1400 points. So yes, buy, close, use. What? All right, what about now? Yes, awesome. It's been a long time since I had a Slayer Helm. My previous account is like an hardcore ultimate where I am currently not on the Slayer stage. And before that wasn't 10 HP Iron Man, so I don't really have access to a Slayer Helm. Well, technically I can, I could, I guess. I could try, I guess, but I haven't tried to get it because Zoga Flesh Eaters is quite difficult on 10 HP. When the so yeah, it's been honestly a very, very long time since I've had a Slayer Helm. Very cool, very nice change. Let's go to the Gangsters and let's get 68 ranged. All right, that was, to be honest, pretty fun. That is also 68 ranged. And let's put like a couple of them on attack. That is also then 650, one more. There we go, 650, 650. 
and then everything else on strength. But strength is usually the easiest skill to train without gaining hit points XP. It gave me a lot of vibes of my 10 HP Iron Man. This was my way how to train my defense to 75 and I was on my way on training attack. Right, 68 range, I am done with combat because magic and prayer aren't really considered combat in my opinion, or at least on this account. Uh, let's do something else. And there it is, that is 68 base with the final skill being construction here at Tears of Guthex. And there we go, that is the timer. Hopefully 156 tiers will be enough to get me the construction level. That should be enough, right? Yeah, barely, nice. 68 construction, 68 base. Now it is time to do some more organized crime to get some more combat experience without gaining any hit point experience. So all of my stats will finally be equalized. But that is gonna be for the next video. I thank you all very much for watching. Subscribe, read, and comment. Okay, thanks, bye. I'm so alive.